Um, so I'm actually using my own music for the first time in a really long time, so please let me know if it's too loud, too quiet. Can you hear me? Can you hear the music? Hi everybody, happy new year, by the way, I'm really excited. It's 2014, I had a really good week, I hope you guys had a really good week. Yeah. Thank you. Well, great. Um, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of placebo on this on tonight. Haha. <laughs> um, I actually found out. I I don't know. Somebody reminded me of placebo, and I used to when I was a teenager. I listened to this band so much, and it, it's terrible because I can hear it in my headphones. I'm like, I can't listen to it and talk to you guys with it in my ears because if I try to do that, I'm gonna end up like just getting distracted and singing along. It makes me want to write. Because I used to sit and write and listen to Pacito when I was young and creative. Anyway, let's see. Did anybody get any fun date mail this week? I got more date mail this week than I've gotten in a really, really long time. And of course, it does not fail. I, I start broadcasting and a cat jumps into my lap. It, I, anyway. Yeah, I got I got a ton of vape mail to talk about tonight. So I have a lot of juice to talk about on hot juice. This is the first time I've had new juice to talk about with you guys in a few weeks. So he is. I would let him do nasty, nasty things to me. I think he's very cute. That's a battery. Awesome. I'm guessing that most people will be receiving their Christmas show prizes here in the next couple weeks, which means that y'all are going to be getting some really exciting mail. Um, I, I actually have met the girl that won the cronuts, and we'll be seeing her at the next date meet. And so I, 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 I you have to bring it, I can touch it. Landon! If you guys see me making weird faces, um, it's because there's Seriously, there's a small black cat right in my lap, just sort of hanging out, but he has a bad habit of digging his claws in my legs, um, and then he gets tossed back on the floor. Just a bit loud? Okay, I can adjust that right there. Is that a little bit better? And it's actually probably gonna... Yeah. So. Is that a little better? Hey, kitchen sink, welcome back. The small pussy is he's right here, here. He can be he can be show kitty. This one's the one that is not he's not a camera whore like the other one. Like he's happy to just sit in my lap and be sweet. Hi Josh. Josh, you had a really good show. I enjoyed watching it. I was I actually set my show up well before you started so that I would be able to sit and watch your show, so yeah. Um it's Vonlive.tv slash vape on TV, Antioch. Um, here's the, if anybody can't see, that is the link to the Vaughn Live. I actually always watch through Vaughn Live when I'm broadcasting because I can use the moderator powers here. So if you misbehave, I can ban you. Ah, no, I would not do that unless someone was really acting badly. That is weird. I'm watching on Bone Live as well, but I'm not watching myself, so. Um, let's go ahead and do our first giveaway of tonight. I've got quite a few. I'm really excited. I have a very special giveaway. We're going to save it to the end of the night, but from VapeDojo.com. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what it is right now so that you can go check it out on Vape Dojo before we actually give it away. But we are giving away a Kanger Aero Tank at the end of the show from VapeDojo.com. So go check them out. They have really, really affordable starter kits and extremely tasty juice. So if you haven't tried Vape Dojo's um, liquid, Black Menthol is made by one of our former hosts and still one of our favorite people, Andy. Um, and you should try it. So. But our first giveaway, we're going to go over here. Yay, it's a happy rainbow. Oh my God, I changed all my screens for the new year, guys. We're going to give away some hot juice J-wraps. Um, if you're new to the show, 
this is the only giveaway we're going to have where we will have multiple winners. So winners number one, two, and three will each win a hot juice J wrap for their mod. And I'm going to go ahead. I use random.org. Some people use this, the one in chat. I use random.org. You can see it right there. So I'm going to pull all y'all's names. I'm going to put you in the list. And I'm going to randomize. And our winners, because there are three, our letters in binary, Vapen, JM, RM, and Georgia Vapor Girl. I need all three of you to respond in chat right now if you would like to have a hot juice wrap. You can see them on screen right there um, for one of your mods. And you can visit jwraps.com and see some of their other awesome wraps too. I used to have an R2D2 wrap for my mod and I actually sold that mod to a new vapor because I wasn't using it. Um, it was a Sigaly Z-Max, and it was my first variable voltage, variable wattage device. It was wonderful. I miss it. But it's going to good use, and I wasn't using it, so. And I want to say chat has died because I don't see anything coming up. I'm going to refresh. I hope that you guys can still see me. My broadcaster says that you can, so I'm going to trust that because I can't see chat right now. Um... This sucks. I hate doing giveaways when there's no... Okay, Vaughn Live is down. Let's try... Let's let's watch through Vapon.tv. Let's pause that. Because it is not even loading on Vaughn Live. Okay, guys. I hope you can still see me. I can no longer see chat or myself. And I don't like talking to myself. You guys know how I feel when I can't see chat. I feel like I'm all by myself and I'm very lonely. But we've got some sneaker pimps playing. Also, we're just going to leave the giveaway as it is until chat resolves its issues. So, Jeez. let's see. Um, I hope everybody had an awesome new year. We didn't do anything for the year. I cooked. Um, I made potato soup and it was fantastic. And we made jalapeno poppers up in bacon, which were also quite delicious. And we stayed up in the night and drank some champagne. Very boring. No drinking and driving. Freaking It's a tough thing. I'm so sorry, you guys. I shouldn't have refreshed. That's what happens? You lose connection to chat, you try to refresh, and then suddenly the whole thing doesn't work. So embarrassing. Excuse me. And we went to see my parents last weekend. Um, that was nice. I, they got me ginger tea. Oh, and my best present, which I've shown a couple people in um, Google Hangout. This is my present. It says wife's son's or cleverest son's wife knives, which I think is pretty amusing and clever. But the cleaver! It's really sharp. Um, so I haven't even taken the plastic off of it yet, but it's very shiny. So I still don't have chat, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm talking about things that, you know, it doesn't really matter if uh, you can't actually see me. So I'm assuming that you guys can still see and hear me. Uh, you might not be able to, I don't know, because I can't do chat. It's extremely frustrating. Hey, let's get over here. Neat. Um, let me know, Josh, if I still need to turn the music down. I did turn it down a little bit, but I can turn it down a little bit more. Some of these songs are actually louder than others. Actually, you know what? I'm going to it up here. Is that better? I'm trying to talk a little loud so that it's more of a balanced out. Okay, I'm done. Oh, hey! I think chat's back. I can see, sort of. I haven't seen anybody talk. Oh, why does Vaughn always do this to me? I think they, they do like maintenance on Saturdays. They break it. So. 
Um, yeah, so I had I got a cleaver and I got my ginger tea. My dad actually got me the ginger tea that I'm kind of obsessed with. Hey, George Paper Girl, you have one already, so kiss please. That means we're gonna move on to OMG Hookers. If OMG Hookers is in the room, can or cannot chat, and would like a hot juice beer wrap. It's not your computer, I promise, it's Vaughn. It has nothing to do with your PC. Uh, what happens is, is, I suspect that they do server maintenance on Saturday night, because this seems to happen on Saturday night quite frequently. Extremely disappointing to me. But hey! Hey, Tina. But I have good music on, at least! I, I love the offspring. I'm quite fond of them. Of course, um, Smash was their best album. Their, their, uh, what was, oh my god, Americana was okay, and everything that came out after Americana was just awful. Just awful. Uh, I think chat's back up. I cannot hold the chatters list, it's still trying to, yeah, Vaughn Live is offline. I can see that, Chili Dog. There is probably a good bit of lag, but I can in fact see it. Cookie! I can see that, Letters and Binary. Letters and Binary, would you like a hot juice day wrap? Hello? Back! OMG Hookers! Uh, hi Mike. Hi Groove Chat. I think chat is back. I have, I'm seeing you guys talk, I just can't see the chatters list. So, I still need to hear from Letters and Binary, Vape and JMRM, and OMG Hookers about whether, okay, Letters and Binary. Yes. I have my purple pen today. Hooray! I'm quite fond of it. So, Vape and JMRM and OMG Hookers. Yeah, this is for a hot juice day wrap. So as you can see over there, you can choose from any of those colors. Yay, and OMG hookers. All right, I have you guys written down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post my email address in chat. I'm not gonna try to PM you guys because I don't see anything. I, I can't actually, I still don't have a chatters list. So my email address is posted in chat. Some of y'all already have it. That's cool. Shoot me an email with your name, your mailing address, the color of hot juice wrap. See right there, the color of hot juice wrap that you want and the device that you're gonna put it on. And please be as specific about your device as possible. They do wrap uh, the various Segele clones, they wrap all the different versions of the Vamo, but let's say if, if you happen to have a Vamo V2, please let us know it is a Vamo V2 and not a V3 or a V5 or whatever other versions they have out, so that we can get you a wrap that fits your mod as perfectly as possible. So, uh, the winners were Letters in Binary, Vape and JMRM, and OMG Hookers because Georgia Vapor Girl pissed. And, you can actually buy the hot juice wraps if for some reason you really want a mod wrap that says hot juice on it. Um, on the jrabs.com website, they do have them for sale. I don't know how much they cost. I haven't looked in a little while, but you can find them under, I think, mod and tank wraps and then show wraps. Uh, network wraps is what they're under. So yeah, you'll see network wraps and then you'll see hot juice and you can actually get a feeling foggy wrap. You can get one from a bunch of other networks, too. How cool is that? Alright, I'm closing that. So, J-Raps are awesome. Ah. Alright, well, I can still, I can still pick yours, Vape and JMRM. It'll just go to Sharon Law. Sharon, you are the next person on the list of winners. If you do not want a hot juice wrap, I think you already have one. But um, yeah, we can we can move on to the next person on the list, or you can pick someone to pick to. <laughs> Print duct tape. That's cute. That's cute. If you want to pick it to someone specific, or we can just move on to the next person. The next person is Vape Chicky SC, who I don't think has rap. So yeah, we can give it to Text Girl.
awesome. And again, text girl, all I need you to do, yay Texas, hey Derp, we are having major um, chat issues Derp, it's very sad. Texas girl, just shoot me an email at that email address with your name, your mailing address, the specific mod you have, because you know the ego batteries are all different sizes too. And um, the color of hot juice wrap that you want. And I'll leave this up on screen real quick. I know. It's Vaughn. Actually, I'm getting a website is offline error from Vaughn right now. So I am logged in through the babevaughn.tv URL, which I'm not, I, I'm not usually. And we're not going to do any more giveaways until I can pull up a chatters list. My chatters list is not up right now. So this is, this is going to be the last giveaway for a while. I still have a ton more full list. Um, to do for the rest of the show. I just can't do them right now. There's some really, really cute Kubo charms tonight, too. <laughs> Everything crashed. Uh, letters in binary. Shoot me an email here with your choice of hot juice wrap. You can choose from red, blue, green, or yellow. I can actually go back over here and... Put them up on the screen for you. You can choose from any. I'm using my mouse to point at them. You guys can't see that. You can choose from any of the wraps you see right there. Um, and email me at that email address with your name, mailing address, the specific mod that you have, and the color of hot juice wrap that you want. Why am I mispronouncing it? It's Kumo Charm. Is it? Is it? Does it, is it because I say it a little? Yes, Texas girl, it is. Is it because I say it a little bit southern sometimes? <laughs> Kumo, I am so sorry. I have I've I've lived here almost ten years now. It'll be ten years this July, and um, I have one of those you know transplant accents where I you know I'm not I don't I've lived in a lot of places, and so sometimes I speak very northern. And sometimes I speak very southern, and I get made fun of a little bit for it because I just, it, and I don't do it on purpose, it just happens. I am still getting a host error from Vonline.tv. They're bad. Reddit was actually down earlier today. Oh, there it is. There it goes. I'm closing this one out. Wait, let me make sure. Orange and red. I love it too. Let's, yeah. Okay, we're back. You guys, I, yeah, I was in the middle, you know, I, I just discovered Reddit a few weeks ago, and I broke the first rule of Reddit, which is you're supposed to lurk for, like, a year before you ever post on Reddit, and I'm just, like, paragraph in a way, just, just talking to people and being awkward, and, like, if you were to look at my, my user history, I posted in, like, four groups, and they're, of course, the e-cigarette group, Full acceptance, which is a, a weightlifting kind of thing, and then the r r slash dirty stuff. I posted to to people asking questions about dirty stuff, and I realized I should have made like a secondary account if I was gonna give people advice on things. Yeah, it, yeah, you can stalk me on Reddit. I'm Samazon on Reddit too, except I use a zero. You guys, there's another Samazon. There is another Samazon. She is awesome. No, I'm not on Gone Wild. There is, um, she's in Colorado, okay? There is a Samazon in Colorado. She's a tattoo artist. And like, I think that we're kindred spirits because she's also a six foot tall person who goes by Sam. But like, you know, I write, I put, I sign like Sam's with a Z when I'm, you know, talking to people who know me as, as Samazon and she does that too. And it's like, if I stalked her just a little bit. Oh man, I would be Slamazon. Ooh. I can't show you my muscles right now. We're starting to go back to the gym on Monday. Monday, Monday. I'm really excited. Hey, babe, Dave. Oh, look. Vaughn crashes and we end up with more people in the room than we had before. Hey, let's do another giveaway, you guys. Since, you know, Vaughn is up. 
and Bonnie is here. Let's give away a bottle of juice from Tampa Vapor. Tampa Vapor is one of my wonderful sponsors. They're continually coming out with new e-liquids and they're continually developing the complexity of their e-liquids. So they started out with a lot of really basic flavors to serve the people in their region. And as the people who are formulating their juices get more comfortable with the different flavorings, they're actually coming out with more and more complex flavors. I am super fond of To Die For, their chocolate mint. And they have another one called Adu, spelled E-T-D-E-U-X, that is really good. It's kind of a candy citrus flavor. I'm quite fond of it. So you can check them out there. And I'm going to pull all y'all's names, and we are going to give away one 30 ml bottle of your choice of flavor and nicotine level from Tampa Bay. Ooh, I can't pronounce that, but my mom really likes, I, I want to say Ling Ling, Ling Ling. This is why I don't speak words that I can't pronounce. But my mom is quite fond of Young Ling. Ying Ling? That sounds right. Y y no, we're not we're not gonna talk about it like that. Okay, and also I'm gonna go ahead and fix this real quick so you guys can see it better. We're gonna do that. Okay. And we're gonna make this bigger. Um the winner is Vaping Mare, by the way. Vaping Mare, can you tell me in the room if you would like a 30 ml bottle of liquid from Tampa Vapor? Mmm, Amber Ale. There, that's them. Vaping Mare! I, I really desperately need a tissue. Vaping Mare, are you here? We're going to be a little bit more lenient about the uh, the time because um, Vaughn's dying. Yay, Vaping Mare! Alright, all I need you to do is go to this place, TampaVapor.com. I'm going to link it for you. And choose a flavor and from the options they have on the website, please select a NIC level and then shoot me an email with your name and your mailing address and the flavor and nicotine level that you want from Tampa Vapor. And they're awesome. And I found, you guys, oh my goodness. Okay, number one, we're gonna go back over here. I'm gonna turn that off, we're gonna go back here. I'm gonna leave you for just like two seconds. I'm gonna grab a roll of toilet paper so I can wipe my nose because I have really bad sinuses right now. So sorry. I am ba oh, I don't wanna wear this on my head because I can ham. Um, I am totally vaping menthol as a matter of fact. <laughs> Um, sorry, I'm not gonna blow my nose unless I really have to. I'm just, I just have to, I, I would wipe it on my sleeve, but this sleeve is not very, it's not soft. And I don't have a t-shirt, otherwise I just, so usually, yeah. Anyway. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I found a mod today. I was out with Joe, we went to the pet store and we got um, more of this. That, that, them cat drugs. Um, more catnip, and we got them some other stuff, and we got some more Placos for my fish tanks, because my fish tanks have, all my, my Placos all die. I think it's because I don't feed them properly. Uh, anyway, so we went to the pet store, and I forgot to bring them on. And so, I found one in my purse, and it actually was the EVOD that I have my ado in. Yes! I have fish tanks. Do we have, is it a really bad audio lag? It's like my mouth moving, but words coming out in a different, different way. I love my fish tanks. I actually, I have koi in my fish tanks. Um, they're fresh water. I have a 55 gallon breeder tank, so it's wider and not as tall as a normal 55 gallon tank. Um, and then a smaller 35 gallon normal tank. This is just B by Tiesto. But, um, yeah, I have a, a, well, the top, the top tank used to have, like, four koi in it, and it's down to one. 
And he, that's Doom Train. He's actually killed all the other fish in the tank. From what I suspect, he killed them, and they might have just died randomly. But I find it suspicious that all the all the other ones, the last two that were in there with him, died of fin rot because their fins were all fucked up. But he never ever showed any symptoms of fin rot, so I think he actually like. Um, yeah, they, they, see, and Doom Train, he's the only one that I have left of the original fish that I had. He's like this big. He's a really big koi. So, he's at the point where at some, one of these days we're going to have to take him and, and give him to an actual koi pond. Because he's getting a little big, even for a 55 gallon tank. But, so, we, oh, cactus spider. Fish age, and then we have two koi on the, in the bottom tank, and we were getting placos, and we actually got a different, we got the actual fish, little sucker fish, we didn't get placos this time, because supposedly they're hardier, and I feel like maybe the koi were killing the placos, because the last one in the bottom tank, the koi kind of killed and ate him. I really think that I'm not feeding them enough. My dad told me if I if I limit their food, they won't grow as quickly, and they're they're surviving fine. But I think that might be why they're killing and eating each other. Yeah. So <laughs> I am. I'm a bad. I'm a bad fish parent. Oh, I'm sorry. I get. You know. I I'm I mommy my cats. I do, but I can't. I couldn't do that for fish. I could do it for any mammal or bird. I could, you know, I could mommy a mammal or a bird. I, I can't. They're fish. They're my fish. I am fond of them. I literally go, go days without even doing anything but turning the light on and off. Mm. My mom sent me From my, my mom sent me petty fours. And they're delicious. But I have to eat all of them. He sent me the big box, too. I have to eat all of them before Monday. Because we start eating clean on Monday. So. Yes! They're so cute! Look, I told Joe today that if we do end up getting married, instead of having a wedding cake, I am all for just having petty fours. I love them. Fish cheese is, is a fantastic username. Oh, I have fish cheese? I love you guys so much. Oh no. I don't know. Both of us are kind of anti wedding, I guess. I don't know. Filet of fish. I. Um, I don't know. They're just complicated. Yeah. Josh, I bet you, sir, you will probably be married before I am. Oh my god. Filet of fish cheese. Um, actually, yeah, a filet of fish with some cheese on it is is pretty good. Jane Bader's totally here. That's the thing. We don't need to get married, but it's illegal for us to live together in this state. As a, as a, um, it's illegal for a man and a woman to actually live together in Mississippi without being married or related by blood. So, um, unless we get, like, married or, Mississippi, unless we get married or find some kind of domestic partnership legal stuff, we can never, like, I'm unemployed right now, so he can't file me as a tenant, even though we've lived together for almost a year now. And I've been solely dependent on him. We can't file he can't file as with me as a dependent because it's illegal for us to be living together. It's really ridiculous. I know it's 2014! But whatever. Yeah, can I? It is the South. A common law marriage is like seven years that we have to live together. Oh, I actually, I'm freelancing some stuff. You shut your mouth. I don't want to hear it. I got vape mail this week. So let's, let's, hey, yeah, but you guys are, it's 
seriously, it's illegal for a man and, like people of the opposite gender to live together. It's something about the Mormons, or I don't, I don't even know. But it's, it's like, it's really weird. They're, they're like, they really want us to get married, and I don't really. Really, I'm not allowed to just live with somebody. I can't just, you know, can I not just live in sin, please? It's ugh. I love Rolos too. They don't. They don't. They, they. The issue is filing federal taxes or even state taxes. Um, he can't file as having me as a dependent. That's the issue because we're living in sin. It's it's a state law. The federal government can't honor. Like they have to respect the state laws, even if the state laws aren't actually enforced. Nobody's gonna come drag me out. Well, I know. I know. But, well, and that's part of the reason I don't really want to get married. I think everybody should be allowed to get married. But we're talking about politics, and I want to talk about vape mail, because it's that kind of thing. But, thank you! 39 years! That's awesome! Now, Rolos are probably my favorite candy. Gotta be. Candy. Sorry, I forgot to write down Baking Mary's the last one. Let's go ahead and do one more giveaway and then we can talk about vape now. You don't know what a Rolo is? A Rolo is, um, it's like, uh, a, a, a not a hard caramel, but not a super squishy caramel either. It's like the perfect consistency of caramel and chocolate, and it's kind of like bottle cap shit. Like that. I'm not Concept Zero. We actually, we have some, we have some five cons for the date meet on January 18th. But no more for the mm -hmm. It's not! It's got caramel in it. You know, the only thing that's better than a Rolo is, um, a Toblerone. Toblerone mm, badass. Guess what time it is? It's time to give away a Kumo charm. We have two to give away tonight. You can see on the screen we have a dinosaur and uh, a little heart with a little rose in it and the word love. So we have a dinosaur, it's a Kumo charm. I know, we have vape meets every single month, and they're awesome. So, hold on, let me go back. Let me refresh the randomizer. Toblerone. I know it's a dinosaur. It's a Tyrannosaurus charm. I told them that if they ever found a, a charm to make into a, a mod charm that was a Velociraptor, that I wanted to buy it from them. And they have not yet found a Velociraptor. So we're going to give away one of these Kumo Charms right now. If you are familiar with the Kumo Charm giveaways, uh, the first person, the person who wins this charm will get to choose which charm they want, and then we will give away the remaining charm at the end of the show. So, Purple Printer! Purple Printer, would you like a Kumo Charm? In a while. It's a T-Rex! Huh. Nice. Purple Pinner! I feel like I have a booger coming out of my nose, you guys. I hate it. I hate this society. Woo! Purple Printer, congratulations. I need you to tell me in chat which charm. Okay, you love the T Rex. I would have gone with it too. I love dinosaurs. I'm a big nerd. And all I need you to do is shoot me an email at that email address with your name, your mailing address, and that you won the T-Rex charm from the channel. And if you guys love me very, very much, you will go on Facebook to Kumo Charms. It's Kumo no Ame. I don't know if I pronounced that right. It's Japanese. Kumo actually means cloud in Japanese because they are a free-form company. Each charm is crafted by hand and each one is slightly different. Um, but yeah, go like them on Facebook, and if you really like their charms, you can actually see different ones they do on Facebook, you can 
talk to them, you can message them on Facebook and order one, or you can go to vapegoddess.net and you can actually buy a Kumo charm in the Prana style, which is beautiful. They have five different colors in the Prana style, that's a rose. And they also have Hello Kitty Kumo charm. Oh, Beebs, Beebs won um, one of the gift certificates, right? I love the Hello Kitty stuff. I really, I'm gonna eventually get a Hello Kitty themed mod because I'm, I mean, I'm wearing a, a a jacket with like an anime skull panda on it, okay? See, you see my weird skull panda thing? It's, yes. I'm one of those people. I'm also really hot. This is the whole thing. It's wieners. It's either hot like, like a furnace in here because the actual, the heat is running or it's cold like a witch's tit because the heat's not running. It's really weird. Uh, JJ, I am sort of, um, we're taking, you guys, we're taking a break right now. So the month of December, we, we took off, we were eating whatever we wanted and starting Monday, yeah, we're going to be eating chicken, brown rice, protein shakes, all of that. We're, we're going on the super high protein, low carb lifting diet. I'm gonna get my muscles back. See, you can see, you see all this, this fat? This is what I've been, I've been storing it. This is the month of December we used is like, it's bulking month. So basically we eat pretty much whatever we want. And we try to put on as much, not as much weight, but we try to, to put on some, some bulk. That way when we cut, it's fat that's burning and not muscle. So basically we're like bears. I didn't strip, I just took my jacket off, you guys! There's no rewind button. But yeah, so it, I really liked this past month because the goal was to like, eat, eat lots of carbs. Mm. So I was excited, but unfortunately, Starting, like, I'm serious this time though. I am so not gonna, um, I'm not gonna actually, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the diet, I promise. I was really bad at it last year, and so this year I've, I've kind of, I'm, I'm really excited about it. It's not a diet, it's a lifestyle choice. I'm eating according to my goals. Brown rice is so gross, by the way. I. Sweet potatoes are good though. We can have sweet potatoes. I wish. Um, never mind. I'm not going to talk about that. So I got vape mail this week. I was really excited because, you know, um, brown rice is kind of gross. 75 miles. Mm. That's like two and a half miles a day almost. So, anyway. Oh, sweet potatoes with butter and brown sugar are delicious. I if you chop them into squares and bake them with olive oil and salt and pepper, they're almost as good. Not, not quite as good, but almost as good. Eating healthy does kind of suck, but I'm hopefully going to be like able to deadlift twice my body weight at the end of this year. So anyway, um, so I hope you all have visited on Thursday nights, Friday nights. It's definitely Friday nights. Friday nights, we have a new-ish host. His name is Greg. If you haven't come to watch his show, you should hit us up Friday nights at like 8 o'clock. He's sponsored by a guy in a place. Oh, shit. I should know where they are, but he's sponsored by Gremlin Juice. And I love ordering from people who sponsor shows on the network. So I ordered some e-liquid from Gremlin Juice. I got purple Gremlin which is delicious. It tastes, oh, did it focus? There you go, purple gremlin. Um, it tastes like, oh, what is it called? The hundred foot gum? You know when you're a kid, you'd get the gum that comes in like the little circle things and it's like rolly gum and you pull it out, except you don't really pull it out. You just shove the whole roll in your mouth and you're like, ah, ah, ah. Um, yes, it's delicious. Bubble tape, yes, bubble tape. It tastes like purple bubble tape. 
I do use Zoom. I have a Zoom. Hold on. Yeah, I totally have a Zoom still. It, it hasn't been charged in like a year, but I have it. Yeah, um, Greg says it tastes like Big League, League 2, but I, I've never had Big League, League 2. I've only had Bubble Tape. So it's really good. Um, and then he sent me a free sample of Vanilla Custard, which I really, really, really like. It's, um, you know, I have Grants, and I actually pulled the Grants out to compare it. And um, honestly, I think the Gremlin Juice Vanilla t Custard tastes a little bit... Uh, a little cleaner to me if that makes sense it's not i love the grants the grants is really good but um the gremlin's a little bit lighter it's a little less uh the the grants tends to be a really heavy thick vape and the the gremlin vanilla custard is a little lighter and a little more um continually vapable and yes i am letting it steep uh my grants has steeped for almost six months by the way that is why it is so deeply deep and dark in color uh, I also got Grim Melon Balls, which I'm letting steep because it's a little bit, um, it's not, I'm going to give it a good shake now too. It's, it's a little, I feel like it, it needs a steep. I tried it. It needs to sit. It doesn't taste bad. I just want it to be a little more melony because it's very, not really menthol, but it's, I would have to look at the description. It just, I'm letting it sit. And then Samoan Dream. Dreams? Samoan Dreams. This is a... I'm going to shake this one too. Um, it's supposed to taste like Samoan cookies. So it's chocolate, caramel, and coconut. It tastes really, really good. It's the smell. Um, Joe, my, my boyfriend, my, my lover... Um, he says that it smells like maple syrup when, when I vape it. It smells a little bit like, to me, it's got, it tastes really good, kitchen sink. It tastes good. It smells like pee after I vape it. Like, I, I literally, I was concerned. Joe came in the office. After I had vaped about, you know, a full, I've, I've been vaping it on my RDA. So I vaped, you know, a full round of it. I had vaped it for about five minutes. And Joe came into my office. He's like, something smells like maple syrup. And it, no, it tastes really good. So he said, something smells like maple syrup. And I was like, I don't smell maple syrup. I smell pee. So I think it, no, I ha well, okay, I'm saying this and I'm explaining this because it may not smell like this to everyone. It's, you know, certain people taste and smell things completely differently. It tastes really good. I didn't notice the smell until after I had been vaping it for a while. And I, but I mean, seriously, I had to check to make sure that a cat hadn't peed under my desk. It was... But Joe says it, it smells like, I, I got him to come in and smell, and he was like, it smells like maple syrup to me. I was like, I smell pee. He's like, well, I smell maple syrup. I was like, well, I'm not making pancakes. It tastes really good, though. I'm, anyway, but you should get it and try it and sniff, sniff the, the room that you've been vaping it in and tell me if you also smell pee. Yeah, right? Has anybody else tried it in the room? Is um you know somebody there's a uh it's chocolate. There's a chocolate vape that smells very strongly. Well it didn't really smell like cat pee, it smelled like you know what it smelled like? It smelled like my pee after I drank a lot of coffee. You know, you get up in the morning, you pee, then you drink a couple cups of coffee, and then you pee again. It smelled like the coffee pee, which smells completely different from any other type of pee. I'm just saying. So it, there may be a little bit of coffee flavoring in there that is that I've never baked a coffee juice. It's entirely possible that it smelled like coffee and not like pee. And I just really, <laughs> I just identify the smell of coffee as, oh, that smells like pee. Sorry. Anyway. We can, we can, yeah, so. 
-hmm. It could be. Mm. Yeah, I want to say that it's a chocolate smell, but yeah, I'm, I feel really bad because I really, like, I 100% highly recommend gremlin juice. I think his juice is really, really good. It's just this, like, I feel bad saying that, but I mean, it's true. Oh, I also got, and we're going to do a giveaway after this. I also got two samplers, little tiny samples from him. He sent me samples of his new R&D flavors. One of them is this mango custard. A tiny little bottle. This stuff, you can't, it won't focus. This stuff is really good. I'm resisting vaping any more of it because I want to let it steep. I know custards need to steep, but right out of, yeah, mango custard, really good. If you order from Gremlin, if you include in the notes or somewhere that you really like to try the mango custard, it's tasty. I have comments about the banana custard that I would like to give to him because it's an R&D flavor. Um, but I'll tell you guys that to me, if you've ever had a grilled banana, this tastes a lot like grilled banana. But again, it's an R&D flavor, and I like I have I have comments about it that aren't all entirely positive. So, oh God, yes, that was my take, and he mixed up some um, alternative grape flavors for me. The purple gremlin knocked both of the random, the, the grape flavors that he mixed up on the fly out of the water though. So good. So good. No, the mango custard is, is really quite good. Mango cheesecake, mmm, mmm. No, the banana custard has some, some odd notes in it, but everybody's different. And I actually have an email written to him to send out right now that I haven't sent, so. Hmm. Do you know what's really delicious though? Before we move into another giveaway, purple gremlin, the great bubblegum flavor I was telling you about, mixed with this extreme ice. Super cheap stuff, by the way. I'm vaping it because I have a sinus thing. But um, a couple drops of this on top of purple gremlin is really good. This is really good, guys. No. Anyway. Chili. Oh, goodness. Mmm. Vanilla banana. Okay. We're gonna go into the giveaway. What do you guys want me to give away? First, I'm gonna refresh my randomizer. Fresh. We're gonna give away. Yes, Extreme Ice is amazing when you're sick. Tell you about the sinuses. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what we're giving away. We're going to give away a carbon fiber J wrap. So if you go to jwraps.com and yes, if you go to jwraps.com and you go to modern tank wraps and you select the carbon fiber genre, the carbon fiber type, you can choose from any of the carbon fiber wraps that they have on their website. So Yay! Carbon fiber, it makes your mod go fast. Yes, Alon is amazing and j Rats is also amazing. They make the best wraps. They have some really amazing, like, snakes and wraps that I covet. I covet them deep in my little black heart. So, oh, Wyatt Dirt! You came and watched my show and you won a carbon fiber wrap. Would you like? A wrap, or would you like to pick? Of course, number two is day wraps, which is, which is amazing as well. Do I know if you open this store? I am not sure. Yeah, they also have clear prints. If you have a, if you have like a Fecta or another mod, or actually an iHybrid LE, they have clear wraps that you can use to sort of protect the the anodizing on those. Awesome. Congratulations, Derp! What I need you to do is I need you to send me an email at that email address with your name and your mailing address, and I need you to go to jwraps.com right there and choose a carbon fiber wrap that you would like, and make sure that it is for a device that they have listed on their site as they have the measurements for, and please let me know what that device is so that we can get you a wrap that perfectly fits your mod.
me. Yes. Yeah, I saw those too, Josh. They're amazing. Uh, Texas girl, no, you want a hot juice wrap, so you can choose the blue, red, yellow, or green colors, and I can actually show you those right now. You see them right there on the screen? They're wonderful. I, I am quite partial to green, but that's just me. But yeah, they're great if you need to protect your mod, or if you just want your mod to look cute. Most people, um, I see people post in the Memphis Vapors group about where they can get like a girly looking uh like ego battery and you know honestly if you just get a wrap you can put it on and then if you decide you don't like that pattern you can take it off and put a different one on and they're really cheaper than some of the like designer ego batteries and that way you can get an ego battery that'll work for a long time and get a good ego battery and you can just grab it instead of buying one of the cheap ones that's like the dazzle. So, yeah. Twitch. Yes, and of course, they will look much prettier on your mod. There are a ton of pictures of j -Raps on mods that people have won on the show. If you visit, I can see them now. Our Facebook group. And if you happen to win something, please take a picture, post it on the Hot News Facebook page, post it in the Babe on TV group. Post it on the vendors page because they love to see, you know, that people are using the stuff that they've won on the show and it's nice to say thank you. Green! A green is my favorite color, Cactus. Don't make me sad face. I will sad face all over you. By the way, if you hear any weird, also Pixies, this is the Pixies, this is my favorite band, Just FYI, favorite band in the whole world, I have a Pixies related tattoo, I'm not going to show you because it's in an inappropriate place, but anyway, Pixies is the best band in the whole world, and if you hear any weird um, background noises like loud cackling or giggling or swearing, that would be Joe in the living room. Xboxing with his his long distance boyfriend. Not really. They're they're good friends. Shh, cactus spider. Don't make me blush. I think I need a new battery because I'm getting extremely weak weak hits. Hey buddy. Here you guys. You guys want to see this guy? There he is. Hello. Yeah, he's got a he's got a long term romance. I think he's actually known the guy that he's playing um that he's playing Xbox with longer than we have known each other. You thought I was classy, are you kidding? I have I have a Harry Potter tattoo on my arm. No cats on camera. Are you kidding? The internet would just explode if there were no cats allowed. He just, like, licked his lips. He, like, he had a little bit of, of vapor in his face and he was just like, You know, this is probably, you should go lay down. Come on. He, I, well, and see, I worry, I worry about, and I know that there have been studies done on secondhand vapor. I just know that cats are somewhat sensitive to propylene glycol. It used to be used in cat food all the time. And I just, I just want him to be, I don't, I don't blow, I don't blow vape in his face. I try not to anyway, but sometimes he just like gets all up in the grill. And he just wants to vape. Do they get jealous of my vape? No, shh, it is, it is, it's not good for them to ingest large quantities of propylene glycol. Okay, I'm, it is much better 
to be vaping around your pets than it would be to be smoking around your pets. I've heard really sad stories about like smokers who had, you know, pets who like got lung cancer from secondhand smoke. That's the kind of stuff that makes me cry. I I can deal with people getting, you know, smoking and, and getting sick from it, but when pets do, they don't have it wasn't their choice. Well, I I also, they're kind of used to getting the, oh no, where's the catnip? Oh, there it is. They're used to getting the catnip during, hey, do you want some of this? You want some of that? Oh yeah, he's he's all over that. Get down. He almost took my headphones with him. They get, they get some catnip during the show if they're, if they're good. There you go, buddy, and it's fresh, fresh nip. That good stuff. It smells a lot stronger than the old catnip that they had. Aww, nip juice. Ew, hairball, gross. We haven't had a hairball incident with the cats yet. The other one's right in that chair over there sleeping. I'm gonna go ahead and hey, go back to there. But yeah, I drug the cat while I'm doing a show so that he will not be, I don't know. I My thinking is that maybe they'll chill out and not be obnoxious if I drug them, but it's entirely possible that it's gonna make him turn into way more of a spaz than he is, so. No. Let's go ahead and do another giveaway real quick because I've got more more than I've got a, a special giveaway from Vape Gojo later in the show, but we are gonna do our second bottle of juice from Tampa Vapor. Yay! Peace. You can check out their website there. They're actually working, let me make sure they haven't updated their website. Yeah, they're actually working on a, a new website. That is gonna be their website for now, but they're working on another one. They're developing their website, but you can order liquid. <laughs> you can order liquid from them online now, which is awesome. I am the only female in the house. I live with a man and two male cats, so I'm okay with that. I love my boy cats. I think girl cats tend to be a little bit, um, Uh, bitchy is the word I would use. Outcast Vapor, congratulations. Would you like to try some liquid from Tampa Vapor? I can even give you my recommendations because I am quite fond. I'm, I'm really very fond of their newer flavors. They've got, um, like I said before, the candy citrus I do. And they have a, do I have it on my desk? I don't. Um, they have a Bananas Foster that's also new. And if you try, if, if you get that, let me know how you like it. Awesome. All I need you to do is to visit tampavapor.com. Please choose one flavor. You want a 30 ml bottle, so you'll be getting a big bottle. Um, and email me your name, mailing address, the flavor that you want, and the nick level that you need. And please make sure that you choose nick level from the options on the site. And congratulations. And they're really, really nice. If you have any questions or if you're interested in purchasing one of the mods that they sell, because they don't have any mods available online, but they do sell mods, you can visit them on Facebook. You choose Kia. Please go like them on Facebook. And if you see something that you want to buy from them on Facebook that, you know, you don't like they have, for example, the EH Pro Flash, which looks insane. It's a rebuildable dripper and a rebuildable atomizer in one. You can call them and be like, hey, I'm interested in buying whatever. And they will help you because they're really nice and awesome. And if I'm ever in Tampa, I want to visit them. But hey, do you want some catnip too? Are you are you coming over here to tell me that I'm, I'm biased and I, I must not ignore you? The other one is, is trying to... There you go. You got some. Anyway. Uh-oh. You guys... I'm sorry. He... He's drinking Everclear. He broke into my Everclear, which I use for cleaning mods. He's very excited, apparently. I think he's winning at whatever game he's playing in the living room. But yes, uh, the other one came over and decided that he needed some catnip, too. So hopefully he won't jump up on my lap 
but if he does, I'm sorry. Ooh! Yeah, go visit Tampa Vapor and then go next door and get a massage. I would enjoy that. I, I don't know, I'm pretty relaxed. We haven't been going to the gym, but my muscles are all healed. I'm no longer having shoulder pain. I'm pretty damn happy. Let's see, so I got other I got a lot of vape mail this week, so I'm gonna continue talking about my vape mail. Um I watched James and Jake's show on oh I my gym does not serve alcohol. Um and I would probably just laugh at people if they did, because I can't imagine a drunk person doing squats. That would be fun. But um I got a bottle of Happy Blue Smoker. I won on James and Jake's show on Monday, and I'm really excited. It's Pearberry. Look at that. It's not supposed to be. Oh, it's almost broken. If I just hold my hand so you can't see it. No! Oh, well, you can't see it. It's Pearberry. It is six milligrams. It is delicious. Um, I have never actually had a pear vape before, and it's, it's really, really good. I want to get some of them, but I can't because I have nothing on here. Planet Fitness only serves pizza on Friday. No, um, I don't make fun of Planet Fitness. I hurt someone's feelings really bad because, yes, okay! This is my other cat. He's an asshole. He's a really big asshole. He's like... A really big cat. Yes, outcast. Yes, he is the star of the show. But in face. Right, I can't, like, there is a lot of, um... Yeah, there is a lot of Planet Fitness jokes that are made. And I, I don't participate in that anymore because someone I know who's really nice and who I really like goes to Planet Fitness and there are a lot of people who don't feel me when they have access to But yes, they do serve pizza. Banana nut bread. Um, I'm not a huge fan of banana vapes outcast, but if you like banana, their banana nut bread is really good. I tried it, I didn't hate it, and I normally hate banana vapes. Although, you know what, that's not true because I've never had a banana vape that I have hated. I just don't buy them. I don't prefer them. The only one that I really, really, really like is, um, is, uh, this stuff. Badger Blair! But, um, yeah, their banana nut bread is really good if you like banana nut bread type flavor. It's better than Mount Baker Vapors 100%. Their bananas foster is really good, though. I didn't care for Grandmaster more flavored. It tasted like burnt toast. Yeah, yeah. I love, I love all the dirt sauces. All of them. I'm sorry. Um, I don't really like Absolute Pain either. It's, it's better than most anise based grapes that I've tried, but I don't really care for it. You either like licorice or you don't like licorice. And I don't. I have never been a fan. I like the red wine stuff though, but that's too. Not like that. Yep, I needed a new battery. Anyway, um, but yeah, no, the hunt. Oh, it's not. It's pearberry. I really want to try the Vapor Chef Honey Perry. Reddit. It's Reddit. Reddit has told me that it's delicious, and I haven't ordered any. I'm not ordering from Baker Chef, <sighs> but, yeah, the Pearberry from Happy East Smoker is really, really good. I'm actually going to put some in my river right now, so I can tell you exactly. I know it's, it's pear-based. I don't think the berry is super pronounced, honestly. I just get a lot of pear, and it smells really good. 
It smells like something you'd want to eat. I can't tell you what it smells like precisely. It smells like hair, but... I do need to try it. You know, can you, can you hear that? Can you hear it? Mm. It stopped. If I hold my RDA wrong, it whistles. It's really strange. Oh wow, you guys. I haven't ordered any because I don't really, I'm, I'm sort of unemployed right now, so I'm trying really hard not to order stuff. I was bad and ordered stuff last week, but I'm trying not to. Honeydew, pear, and strawberry. Mm. Oh, and honeydew hookers. I would have thought, I, honeydew is one of my favorite vapes. I have a, um, a straight, Great honeybee bait called Dewdrops. It is one of my absolute favorites. So I'm I'm even more excited. Um, Slim, no, I haven't ordered from them, but I do have some of their liquid. Um, I've got a sample of the banana cream pie flavoring, and I've actually got some white chocolate raspberry on the shelf. Do you have a question? I'm sorry. Yes, Outcast, you do email me if you, if you need if you. I can't catch up on chat. I'm gonna try to, okay. Mmm, honeydew. I'm sorry, I just really, really love honeydew. But yeah, New Tank Team is an awesome company. And Jake uh, actually hosts Monday night, so. If you have any questions about it, you should come on Monday and ask me directly. Oh, see, I like strong liquids, so. I, well, and I'm really good, even when I find liquids that I absolutely love, I usually don't vape, you know, a whole lot of them, because, I mean, it's taken me several months to get through an entire bottle of Castle Long Reserve, and it is by far my favorite juice. So, yeah, I don't order from Mount Baker Vapor anymore. Extreme Ice is the only one that I still keep and use a lot, but I just, I don't, I've, I've given all of it away, because it was, when I ordered it, it was when I was first vaping, it was 18 milligram. I gave it all away and I kind of, I've moved on to more boutique vendors. There's nothing wrong with Mount Baker Vapor. A lot of people really, really, um, really, really like Mount Baker because their shipping is extremely fast. They're very affordable and, um, and they do, they, they mix perfectly decent liquid. Um, I just, you know, I do a juice show. Hot juice is a juice show. And I try to have, you know, I try to talk about flavors that are, are a little more um, custom, a little more custom blended and a little more boutique. Mmm. I've never tried the Zilla. Mmm. I'm also super excited because I don't know, I might be the last person in the world to have discovered this, but I found this this website. I'm going to link you to it. It's JuiceDB, JuiceDatabase.com. So they don't have a lot. I mean, they have a ton of vendors and they have a ton of flavors and it's a, it's a review site. So if you like reviewing liquid, if you like finding out about new liquids and well-reviewed liquids, check it out. I've actually just made an account and reviewed, I reviewed some Vape Goddess liquid and I reviewed some Five Pond liquid. I haven't reviewed anything else because I haven't sat down and done it. But I'm going to. I'm going to go through my whole collection and try to review everything that I've tried on JuiceDatabase.com because it's such a neat site. It's really well format. It's really well formatted, and I really like it. I don't know who put it together. I found it stalking Reddit. Uh, some guy named Aaron Cox apparently, because it says so at the bottom of the page. But it's it's a neat resource if you're looking for a new vendor or if you're looking for a new juice. It's cool. If you've already heard of it, I'm behind the times, but this is what I learned from Reddit. Beads, I really, really like, I really like this. I really like mint bakes too, though. Oh yeah, I found it when I, um, 
while I was... Get down! Get, get out from back there. I have a guitar and a bass right there on the side of my desk, and I broke my chair. My chair is even more broken than it was before. Fantastic. Anyway, so I broke my chair, and the cats are trying to climb up on my desk via the guitars that are leaned up against it over there. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I've am i recently discovered Reddit and turned into a creepy Reddit addict because... Come on, you guys, I love stuff on the internet. I'm very fond of, of the internet stuff. And, like, they have AMAs. That's what I spend the most time on. Like, I read the Ask Me Anything. This AMA stands for Ask Me Anything. But basically... I like the, re the weird random people one, like there was one, um, a guy was doing an AMA, he was paralyzed from a skiing accident, and so he just had an AMA about it, and so many people asked so many really interesting questions. If, if you want to, Antioch, that I would like to try it, you don't have to send me, like, you can just send me a little bit, I mean, hi, 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 Paula, uh, you have my... I don't know, um, Murdoch, that, I, I didn't think to look, but if you're not on it, um, I've tried, I could, I could put a review of Maharas on there, I'm not gonna review Pluid on there, because I, I'm scared of Pluid, I'm sorry, I tried it once, it was too high milligram, it hurt my throat, because it was like, it was like 20 milligrams, and I was vaping sick, but, uh, Pluid scares the shit out of me, <laughs> I, ooh. But I love the Maharas. I'll I'll put it on there because it's just yeah. There was a there was a two penis a guy that had two two wangalangs. Um, did an AMA on Reddit. That was really interesting. Uh, but I mean, it's there was one from a an older woman whose grandkids were doing an AMA for. She was like an old lady who, who had just gotten her first tattoo and like liked to gamble and drink and was it it's just really cool to see people talking about their lives. I really dig that. I, I used to be a reporter, so that was my favorite thing to do was to write I'm sorry, I've got a cat trying to climb up my leg. Um I used to do a lot of articles that were lifestyles and it was just sitting down with somebody who had lived in the town that we were that I wrote for the paper in who lived there since he was born and he's 80 years old. I mean, he was there from the time, for, he was a farmer before we had tractors in, you know, a town that used to be a really big farming town. And so it was, what are you doing? I'm so sorry. But I love the AMAs. I find it very, oh, <laughs> wang lang, yes. I gave him cat now. I didn't read Woody Harrelson's. I did read um, the, the lady who does the voice for Lois Griffin did one. It was fantastic. Yes, we do. Do I need to, do I need to pay music? Have I tried Alchemist? Um, from Drake's face. That's a, I, from what I understand, Alchemist is Drake's licorice slash anise flavor, and I have it on the juice bar. I have not tried it. I really, you know, the um, Purple People Eater and Grenada from Next Level Vapors. I tried both of those. I realized, why am I? <laughs> Hello. Oh, I love your face. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I tried both of those, and I, I just... I just do not care for the licorice aftertaste. Like, I could even recognize that the Grenada had a really nice um, tropical fruit, fruit flavor to it. Um, I just, every time I exhaled, it was like straight up black jelly bean licorice, and I just, I don't like that flavor. It's too overpowering for me. And you can't taste anything after you wait it. Or I, God, you guys. Waggling. Uh, now I love Melon Fiasco. In my personal opinion, Melon Fiasco is the best multiple melon juice that I have tried. I've tried a lot. There's um, Dewdrops from uh, Vapor Boy is probably the best 
specifically honeydew flavor. And there's another one that I've forgotten that was the best watermelon flavor, but melon fiasco is really fucking good. See, I would try that. I, I would love to, excuse me for a second more fix it. Um, I would, I would be really pleased if I got to hang out with somebody who was vaping fluid and was willing to mix a little bit of my melon fiasco with the fluid, and I could try that, but I just, I'm, I'm so, I, I hate it. I'm like, I'm, it scares me. And it's not, it's not, it's just, I feel like I would really need to master my rebuildable coiling before I, it is a swallow actually. And it's, it's got the, it's the split tail swallow. Um, sorry, I broke my chair. My chair is a very cheap chair and a little, cross beams tend to just fall out. Bye, Antioch! Yeah, shoot me a message on Facebook. I I wouldn't say that it's gross. It just I I'm it it scares me. I don't like that I don't like licorice flavors and it's it's a really strongly flavored vape. Like I like strong flavored liquids. And to the point where I don't really care for brands like Alice and Babeland because it's very mild and um Alice in Babeland tends to be a very subdued, they tend to have very subdued flavor profiles, which are nice. They're um, ephemeral almost, but I prefer fairly flavor dense liquids. Fluid still scares me. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I don't, I don't like licorice very much. I might, I might have to bug somebody at the next bait meet to, to give me like a milliliter of it and mix it with melon fiasco. It would be a very high um, ratio of melon fiasco to fluid. It'd have to be like three or four drops melon fiasco and one drop fluid in my, in my trusty little dripper here. But I, I might, I might try that. You guys. And yeah, Maharas is by far my favorite of that whole line. I have, I have, I have a, a nasty little container of it. Actually, that there is kind of old. But anyway, yippee! I think it's time for another giveaway. Uh oh, we're gonna go over here, and then I'm gonna have to add an image because I did not prepare. I am a terrible host. I did not prepare for our special surprise giveaway. I'm sorry. I'm drinking carbonated water, and I'm just going to continue to burp. Hey, buddy. You stinky. You smell funny. What do you smell like? Did you make it in the sink? He smells like dishes. I discovered today, so I while I'm looking for this logo, which I have somewhere, um, I discovered today that, ah, I discovered today that my cat, my beautiful, this cat, this cat right here, um, so he gets up on the sink and plays in the, in the sink while we're asleep. He doesn't do it when we're awake, he knows it's bad, he just does it while we're asleep. Um, because he's a bad cat. He does bad things that he knows are bad, and he tries to hide them, and he's just not very good at hiding them. So, I washed some dishes today. Normally I just rinse them and load them in the dishwasher, but I actually had to wash some by hand. And so my hands had that, um, you know, the smell. The di I've been washing dishes smell. Your hands smell, like I have to wash my hands with hand soap after I wash dishes because they smell like, you know, like dish sponge. So I get on, I sit down on the couch and I have not washed my hands, so my hands smell like dish sponge. This little asshole jumps up on me and starts like licking and biting my hand. And I figured out that at night, while we're sleeping, he tries to eat the dish sponges. And I'm really concerned that he's like, and I mean, we need Dawn, it's supposed to be safe, they wash the little baby 
oil animals in it, but he tries to eat the dishwashing sponge. This is gross. And my nose is even itch, itchy nose. Okay, so I'm super excited. Hey, man. I'm super excited because I'm so sorry. I promise you, if he like sticks his paw in my shirt and pulls it down, you will not see boob. But you might think you do because I'm wearing a, a, nat a natural colored under under thing. I promise there will you will not see any any of that. God, why do I have to worry about these things with this cat? Because he really likes sticking his paw in my clothes. He's a man. He's a man cat. I love you too, buddy. Please don't do that. See? Do you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> okay, we are going to give away an awesome aero tank from Base Dojo. If you have not tried Sweetie, I love you. Please get off my lap. I don't want to have to worry about this whole disrobing thing while you're... <laughs> this is why. This is why I don't like you, young sir. <sighs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay, my nose itches. I think I'm allergic to this cat. Yeah, it does say pork sausage because we love pork sausage. Oh, absolutely. Um, I had a dog before that would like chew the crotch out of my underwear. It was really <laughs> gross. It does say pork sausage. So, again, we're giving away a Kramer Aero Tank. I have not done the randomizer, I'm sorry. I tried to refresh that before. I think maybe he is. Because every time he gets off my lap, all he wants to do is make me smell like him. He whips his face all over and he's like, hmm. You belong to me. Very strange. Uh, I believe that they use uh, specific heads to the aero tank. I got cat hair in my nose. It's not a cute face. Anyway, and also Vape Dojo is awesome. They have really, really affordable starter kits. If you want to get someone started vaping, the mini pro tank kit from Bait Gojo is highly recommended. I see them on Reddit all the time. And the randomizer. Non toxic, yeah, non toxic. You were in the randomizer, but the winner's horse feathers. Congratulations. And yeah, their liquid is wonderful. A lot of their flavors are formulated by my good friend Andy, who is actually the one behind this giveaway. So everybody say thanks, country guy, and we miss you. So, horse feathers, if you're here, let me know that you want an awesome Kanger Aero tank. I'm so sorry that I can't stop touching my nose. I just, I just wanna, I just wanna, mm. horse feathers, yay! All right, hun, all I need you to do is email me your name and your mailing address right there. Berries and cream from the Dojo, nom nom. And if you are, it, you, I have, I can, I can show you, I can hiccup. I have the hiccups now. I can't, there's nothing in there. It's like, yeah, I live in Mississippi, y'all. <sighs> It's, it's dry, there's nothing in there, and I'm just making it red. Hi, Bodge! I miss you! Oh no, this is not a, no, no, no. I still have another wrap, another, I have two liquids, a wrap, and a charm left to give away. So, we just did this in the middle of the show, because, yeah, you guys know I like to save the best giveaways for the end, but tonight I figured I'd throw one in the middle, too. Oh, sorry. And now my nose is all red. I'm not cute anymore. Uh, they use the same as the T3 Pro Tank. Awesome. Thanks for that, D-Hack. Now, I'm doing the elevated at the end. Do I ever drive on the Trace? I have not driven on the Nashville Trace in quite a while. Um, I haven't been down to Jackson since 2012. 
so it's been over a year. But yeah, I mean, I've driven on the trays before. Ugh. Do you see this? This is my, my sinus space. No, the trace is beautiful. Um, it's a really nice afternoon drive. If you have a motorcycle, like if you're into riding motorcycles, the trace is by far the best place to ride a motorcycle in Mississippi because people have to drive slower and they're scared of the, um, they're scared of the state police that run on the trace because it is much, it, there's a much higher fine for getting, um, pulled over for speeding on the trace because it's a national park for some good. I don't know, Paula. I'm not sure. That would be, you would want to email j Raps and ask them. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's like, Kepper. He, it's, and it only happens with him because he puts his face on my face and he rubs his fur on my nose and I start itching. Mm. There's still just a little bit of extreme ice in there too, so it's like a cold menthol and pear. It's delicious. I really like dripping because you can sort of mix your own flavor. That's, that's the closest to DIY that I get, actually. A replacement part for your Sigele. Um, The best way to find a replacement part for a mod like that, honestly, is probably to look and see if anybody's got, ah, if anybody's got a broken one. I see people in our, our local group, people we, we have several local people who repair mods and who take mods apart for parts. And so if somebody's mod breaks, they tend to post on the local page, like, oh, I've got a broken Bamo. If anybody wants to take it, I'm just going to throw it away if you want to take it and repair it, if you want to take it apart. So check your local group, make posts, be like, hey, you can take a part. You've got a broken one. Pineapple! Oh my goodness. I do not think. I don't think I have a pineapple vape. I don't. I really don't. I don't think I've ever had a pineapple vape. Which is, I mean, I have 50 bazillion bottles of these sitting on my desk right now, and I don't think I have a single pineapple vape. Oh, that's scary, Paula. Hmm. I want to try the D. I need a bottle of the D. Josh, Josh is, can, can I have, are you going to give me the D? So I have my final bout of vape mail to talk about. I'm still not out of vape mail. I got so much vape mail this week, you guys. I'm, is that, is Faded Vapes the one who do the D? Cause I've, I just, I was just making a joke earlier in Josh's show about the D. Um, but I, I didn't realize Faded Vapes actually made one. That's kind of awesome. I remember when they came out, it's so neat because uh, I don't know, being in this community and paying attention to the community for, yeah, the D as in the D. Um, but paying attention to this community, it's like you can see, especially if you try to talk to as many people as you can, and if you try to stay involved in what's going on, it's like you can you can sort of, it's like I remember when Faded Vapes came out. I remember seeing their promo stuff. I remember when Vape Goddess came out with her promo shots. And it's just, it's really, Especially when you kind of get to know the people who are doing the liquids, it's really nice to see the community grow and to see people, you know, start businesses that are good for the community. Anyway, I'm getting all tender. So, I got to, um, a very, very, very nice person sent me a thank you gift for all of the production, production stuff that I did. Uh, for the Christmas show, and with with his gift, I got some juice from Giant Vapes. And Giant Vapes is wonderful. If you haven't been there, they sell a ton of liquid from all over the country. 
and they're fabulous. And the guy who owns the place is such a giant, awesome person. You know, I, I can't even, you know, we were joking and, and being mean and stuff when he was co-hosting for the Christmas show. And, and I, I can't do that. I, I fucking love Mike. He, I've got like the big, big, big crush on him. He is just, <sighs> I wish that I could sit down with him and ask him about my foils because he really helped me a lot when I first started dropping resoldables. And, uh, and I'm like, I really, I'm really bad at it still. Anyway, no, I did not get any Jimmy juice. I got smoked custard from Nick's Blissful Brews which is a tobacco custard and um it's interesting i'd say i would wanted to let it steep but it's i'm sure it's it's fully steeped nix bliss nix blissful brews i can't talk um only makes this one flavor it's not bad I'm, I want to say it's not, I, and it's, when I say it's not bad, I don't mean that, you know, oh, it's not bad, but it, it's very different. It's, you know, it's a tobacco custard. I do like custard. I don't care for a lot of tobaccos, but I was told that I had to try this. It's, it's really interesting. And it's one of those flavors that I haven't decided yet if it's going to be one of my favorite flavors or not, because it, it's just, it's a very, um, it's kind of a heavy flavor. It's uh, it's not, yeah, smoked custard. It, right, it's something that, you know, you vape it and you're not sure if you like it at first, but you don't want to stop vaping it. But it is a heavy flavor and I have to vape it with something else to sort of pick up and sort of temper that heaviness. Yeah. But it's not bad. It's, it's really, really worth trying, especially if you like custards, especially if you like tobacco flavor. Like, I don't dislike it, but I'm, I'm like, I have to be in the right mood for it. It's like a coffee vape, um, honestly, that, and it doesn't taste anything like coffee. I'm not saying it tastes like a coffee, but you know, you don't vape coffee all the time. Most people don't vape coffee all the time. Um, some people might. I don't. I wouldn't. I don't vape coffee at all, actually. But I, I would imagine that it's kind of like that. You vape it when you want it. Not all the time. But I like it. It's just, it's, it's like, I can't decide whether it's going to be, you know, I can't decide whether it's just a super, I don't know. but it's good. If you like tobacco and custard, highly recommend. It's definitely worth trying. See, I've never had a coffee vape that I like, beads. But to move forward, I have another, I have one that I really, really like right off the bat. I knew I liked it. I'm going to save that one for last. I also got H Juice Sparky Current. Now, you guys know that I'm a giant nerd. This is actually a... British juice. It comes with the um, the the little thing that you can you see this on Grand Central Custard as well, and they have neat warning labels. I mean, they've got little skull and crossbones. You can't see because it stops being focused. Come on, you know you want to focus on this. Okay, well it's got a skull and crossbones. It's got some other really awesome warning labels. I mean, this is all all the writing on this is warning labels, but it is a. Yeah, we all have different unique tastes. Sorry, I'm trying not to ignore you guys. So, a Sparky Current. It is literally a current flavored e-liquid. It's again, it's really interesting. I I don't dislike it, but it's not my favorite. So it's not bad. It just is not something that I completely love. It's very, um, it's very flavor dense, which I do like. It has a very distinct flavor. It doesn't taste weak. It doesn't taste off. It tastes like currant, which if you don't like currant, which I've never had it before now, um, if you know that you do not like black currant or currant, you're probably not gonna like it. But um, it's, it's interesting. It's another one of those flavors that I can't decide it, like I, I didn't try it and was like, mmm, this is amazing the first time I tried it, but at the same time, I want to continue to vape it. I'm still like gripping it. It's still in rotation. It, 
it's interesting. I wish that I could let you guys smell it because it smells and tastes pretty much right on. And it, it smells very potent and it smells really good and it tastes good. It's just a very, it's a flavor that I don't ever have in my normal life because I'm not British. Fodge, is Fodge in here? Fodge, Fodge. He is. Fodge, have you tried? The H Vapes Current, is Current a flavor? Yeah, it's an acquired taste, again. Just like Tobacco Vapes for me, Tobacco Vapes were totally an acquired taste. I mean, if I had tried smoked custard back when I hated tobacco flavors, Tobacco Vapes used to taste just really bad to me. Um, yeah, I have a, a Current, Current flavor from England that I was trying. I was wondering if you had tried it. Have you partook in? And, I mean, how frequently is current a, a common flavoring over there in the United Kingdom? I mean, because it's absolutely not something I... H juice. H juice. Oh my god, he missed! Oh no, she found the power button. You haven't tried it. See, I'm just, you know... It's like grape. I eat something that tastes like grape about once a month. I know what grape is supposed to taste like. Black currant, currant is not, that's not something that I eat on a normal basis. So honestly, this could taste like um, something else that I don't eat and I would not know. But it's interesting. Again, it's something that I, it's a very strong flavor. It's a very distinct flavor. It's fruity, and it smells like kind of tart and fruity, and it tastes tart and fruity. But again, it's not, I mean, it, it, you might really, really hate it. I don't hate it, and but I don't like, it's like, I just keep vaping it, even, and it's not that I don't like it. It's just, it's interesting. Like, I'm like, I'm going to try that again. And then I'm going to try that again today, too. It's just strange. I've never had any patchouli vapes, but the one that I do really like, um, I got nectar from Atom Bomb. It tastes like orange, um, orange yogurt. It's supposed to be a tangerine and cream or something. I don't know. I, I would look it up right now, but I'm not going to. But seriously, oh, I'm sorry. Go back to sleep. But um, it tastes like straight up. If you've ever had the orange creamsicle yogurt, that's what it tastes like. Nectar by Atom Bomb. Yep. It doesn't, I, I wouldn't say it tastes like a dreamsicle ice cream thing, but I haven't had a dreamsicle ice cream bar in a really long time. But I do eat a lot of yogurt. Straight up tastes like orange, orange creamsicle yogurt. I don't know what the yogurt is actually called, but yeah, Dirt knows what I'm talking about. Mmm, that's din din. You guys, it's so early over there. Get it. Yeah, and I gripped. All of this was gripped in my cyclone. Uh, I think I have like a 1.8 ohm coil. I have a really high ohm coil in this right now. Mmm. Who knows, zombie? Oh my god, guys. It's time to do so many giveaways right now because it's turned It's turned into like almost time for the sh I've only got 20 minutes left. Let's give away another J-Rap! Right? Yeah, I know, it's 9.30 here. Shh, Day Gator, you're so funny. I didn't mean to coil a 1.8 ohm coil. It was supposed to be like 1 to 1.2, but I, I threw another wrap on there on accident and just didn't feel like taking it off. It's not bad. It, it's like... I don't know. I'm just lazy. So we're gonna give away another day wrap. I'm gonna go back. I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting to refresh this before I open up the giveaway screen again. So we're gonna give away a standard design day wrap. That means if you go to jwraps.com, which I will copy and paste for you right now. Right now. You go to jwraps.com and you look under modern tank wrap and you click standard designs and then you choose your mod. You can see all of the designs that they have. They have like I want to say 
hundred, but it's probably between one hundred and three hundred, um, which is a very large range. I'm sorry, uh, but they have a ton of really amazing designs. You can choose from any of the standard designs. This does not include carbon fiber. It does not include anything but the standard designs. So, and thank you. This is yeah. This is my I'm. This is all the music I listened to when I was like a teenager. So I, I went on a, a trip down memory lane. So Vape and Link, congratulations. If you would like a standard day wrap, please tell me in the room. And if you would not like a standard day wrap, you can just say it. Mm. Mmm, barbecue pork. We ate leftovers for dinner tonight. We had meat. Literally meat. Nathan Link, are you there? Would you like a wrap? If not, we're gonna move on to the number two on the list. I'm gonna do my little weird dance and then listen to this. Oh, this is my favorite. We're gonna turn this up a little bit. You know why? Because this is this is my girl. This is Kim Deal. This is like seriously my idol. And this I know his teeth is white as snow. I love this woman. Like I would Can't even tell you. Can't even tell you. All right. Well, um, vape and links. I don't. I don't. I don't see you having responded in the room. So, um, Mike alumni, if you would like a standard design J wrap, please say something in chat. And if you say something before the number one person does, then it's yours. And if you don't want something, we will move on to the third one. Kiss. All right, Missy vape. Yay! Missy said yay! Well, congratulations, Missy. All I need to do is go to jwraps.com, choose a standard design wrap, and then email me the wrap that you want to that. And um, you know the drill, girl. You got this. You, you've been around the block. That sounds, that sounds wrong. I don't mean it like that, you know. I mean, you understand how this process works. Yeah. <laughs> Jay, so shoot me an email with your name and your mailing address and wrap if you want and all that happy stuff. I don't really want to say it again. I know, I know. I didn't mean it like that. It sounded wrong. I, I, I meant it. To, I meant it's a nice one. I love you. Excuse <laughs> me a lot while I switch. I love. Anyway, yeah. Um, so, but hmm, let me break that down. That's what I need to do. You guys, you guys wanna, um, you guys wanna do another giveaway real quick? And, well, I mean, we got 20 minutes. We can wait a few minutes. We can, just, we can just hang out, not not do another giveaway, talk about stuff. Um, let's see. I talked about all my date mail. Yay! I gave you guys boost reviews. I haven't done that in a really long time, and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, that's all I have on my list. I'll do it now! Yeah, I know, I want to do it now. Let's see. My obsession with Placido, it has to do with, you know, a long history of... I just... Oh, Brian, my god, his voice. <sighs> he just makes me want to purr. Yeah, you guys can show me your tattoos. I could, I could go for pictures of your tattoos. That would work. You can't see mine. I already showed you all the tattoos that I can show you on the show. So far. I mean, I've got, I got a, a Final Fantasy one in the middle of my butt, which you can't see. It, it was actually really funny, because we went to Joe's, um, his work Christmas party. Some guy walks up behind me, he's like, 
And he says behind me, he's like, this too shall pass. And I was like, what? And he was reading my tattoo, but it freaked me the fuck out because, you know, I mean, he walked up behind me and told me what my tattoo said. My tattoo is in Hebrew. Obviously, he was, he was Jewish. He knew how to read Hebrew. And it was the first time anybody had actually come and read the tattoo on my neck. That's, that's the one I'm talking about, the one in Hebrew. It says, this too shall pass. It's written in, it's from the Old Testament. It's written in Old Testament language. Um, but it was really funny because it's the first time anybody's actually confirmed to me, like, unaffiliated observer, someone who didn't know what it was supposed to say already, who has actually been able to read it. Because I had a, a former professor who said, who, was, who had studied Hebrew, and um, it's not, it's, um, it's, it's, Hebrew, it's not Yiddish. Yiddish is another thing, which I'm not sure is the same thing. Don't, don't, yeah. Oh yeah, I love Ian Bungal. But, um, anyway. Ooh. Sharon, I don't know. I'm not super familiar with a lot of you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Josh. Uh, Derp has a tattoo? Derp, that's not a tattoo. That's, that's, oh my god. Oh goodness. I, I, I would totally do that. I would get that forever. But no, it was the first time anybody's actually read my tattoo correctly. And I, I felt really good, because you know, when you get like something in a foreign language, it might as well say fish soup, and you would never know. But apparently it's correct, which is really exciting for me. I have the correct tattoo. It doesn't say fish soup. Yeah, that is, that is excellent. There's, I love that. Oh goodness. <laughs> oh goodness. More flavor. You killing me. We're going to give away another bottle of juice and tampon vapor. Because they love tampon vapor and they make delicious liquid. Go visit their site, buy some juice from them because it's awesome. But no, we're going to give away another 30 ml bottle from Tampa Vapor. I'm going to highlight all of you beautiful people's names. Everybody. Even me. Because I don't take myself out. Because y'all know, if my name comes up, we're just going to go to number two. <gasps> Honey Vapor, congratulations. Would you like a 30 ml bottle from TampaVapor.com? They say TampaVapor.com. They're also a brick and mortar. So just Tampa Vapor. Yes, we love Tampa Vapor. They also sponsor um, our new show, Christmas show on Thursday night. Krista actually, Krista has ordered several times from Tampa Vapor, and they're wonderful. They really do support our network, and they're just really, really nice people. Honey Vapor, did she respond? Did I not see that? She's just that. I know she's here. I assume Honey Vapor is a sheep. It's just pretty sounds like it. Yeah, To Die For is absolutely my favorite by them. And a dude. I like a dude too. So, I have to it. And my birthday. I know Honey Baker's here. Maybe she's, she's beeping. Being? Am I the only person in the universe that does not beep? I don't beep. I dropped my cell phone in the toilet when I was like 18. It was the first cell phone I ever had, and I dropped it in the toilet, and I had to get, it was like a nice phone for back then. It had Bluetooth and everything. And my replacement phone was a brick piece of shit. And so ever since then, if I don't want to drop it in the toilet, I don't pee while I'm using it. Or poop. It's okay, honey. I know you were here. Ooh, and I can just, I can call you honey without, like, feeling weird about it. Congratulations. Uh, you can visit TampaVapor.com. I linked you straight to the e-liquid area. Um, and all you need to do is pick a flavor, choose your nick level, and shoot me an email at that email address with your name, mailing address, the liquid that you want, and the nick level that you need. 
And if y'all support Tampa Bay Bruce, they support us. They are extremely nice. Ew, no poo on your mod. I might occasionally use my cell phone in the bathroom. Um, but usually it's only if like I really, really have to pee and I'm in the middle of like a Candy Crush saga game. Normally I like set it down before I sit down on the toilet, so I totally wash it. Anyway, we don't need to talk about me in the bathroom. We're, this, this is a, um, irrelevant conversation. Does anybody have any questions? I'm so sorry, I don't know anything about Lava Tube. Does anybody else have any questions? Awkward face. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. And I'm gonna remind you guys, please email me tonight. If I do not receive your email within 24 hours, you are considered disqualified for your prize. So please, by tomorrow. Where did I get my last mod? The last mod that I owe. That depends on what you count as a mod. Because I bought an EVOD kit from directly from Hangar Tech, actually, in July, which was the last time I bought anything that counts as a mod, but I bought those to um, sell, which didn't work out, but I don't recommend that, by the way, I'm just saying, do not recommend trying to start a business without actually starting a business. Start your business. Don't just be like, I'm just going to sell a few kits. Don't do that. It doesn't work out. Not in Mississippi. It could work somewhere else. But anyway, yeah. Um, but before that, the last mod that I bought was my iHybrid limited edition Inkslinger, I think. It was either that or the Fecta. It was either the Inkslinger or the Fecta. And I got both of those from iHybrid, and I love them. I use my Fecta every single day. I use it in mod mode, but... I can't remember the last time. I Oh, I know. I bought my Vamo from RTD Vapor. Except I won it. I didn't buy it, but it's from RTD Vapor. Yes, it's a Kumo charm on here. I have my, my Sailor Saturn charm on my Fecta. See, you can put a charm on a sector, it's fine. Where did I go? What? No! Am I not? Did I, did I disappear? I see me. Okay, good. Refresh. Refresh go. Look, I got so many emails. Oh, good. I like it when you guys email me. Makes me happy. Well, it's 9.51 and we have two giveaways left. You guys know what the next giveaway is? It's always, it's always the same in the last two. Yeah, on is at least chat is still working. We'll go slow. I will be forgiving. No, that's our very last giveaway. Our second to last giveaway is going to be from Elevated Vaping. So my friends out at Elevated Vaping have been around for a while. Again, I remember when Elevated Vaping opened. I was super excited because it was the first place that I found online where I could buy the standard. And um, what was the other one that I ordered from the one day? Oh, Mastermind Elixirs, which is tasty. So please go visit Elevated Vaping. They sell several different brands of California e-liquid, and I think Next Level is actually out of North Carolina. But yeah, they do sell Grenada. You can win a bottle of Grenada. The winner of this giveaway will receive one bottle of your choice from elevatedvaping.com. You can choose any brand, up to a 30 ml bottle, um, and please make sure that when you make your selection that the, the liquid that you want is in stock and that the nicotine level that you choose is one of the, the, um, the 
nicotine levels you can select from the website and that it is in stock in that nicotine level. So I'm gonna go back and refresh this. I'm so sorry, I've been really bad at refreshing my randomizer. So like when I open it, you can see the last one instead of just this nice fresh clean one. We're gonna copy everybody, make sure everybody's there. And randomize. Some girl 13. Some girl, are you here? What happened? Oh. Y'all, my sinuses are just for crap. For crap. They're hurting. First they were stopped up, now they're hurting. Yes! Alright. Congratulations, some girl. I need you to visit elevatedvaping.com. I need you to choose one flavor um, from any vendor that you want off of their website. Please make sure that the liquid that you want is in stock and the, nic nic the nicotine level that you choose is also in stock and from the choices on the site because they are retailers. They don't make the liquid, they just sell it. Um, and then email me your choice and please do that before tomorrow. And we still have a few more time to take away. I'm so excited. We're gonna wait just to, oh, hey, happy 2014. We're gonna wait just one more minute. It's the last good one. Ooh, re-waking five minutes after we built it, but this is why I don't use cotton. I use eco wool because I can dry burn it. And I'm like, And I would think it would be harder to switch flavors on cotton. Congratulations! Hi, Chato! I hear the flavor is better on cotton. I, oh, you just switch your cotton? Yeah, no, see, I'm, I feel safer with eco wool, even though it might be like that for you. I don't know. See, I just dry, I don't dry burn, but I just bake until my wick is mostly dry and then drip some more. I don't re-wick. I'm lazy. Hey, Rep. Our last giveaway, you guys. I love you for coming out. I missed you last weekend. You know, I took last weekend off because I was really tired after, you know, the whole Christmas thing. Um, but at the same time, I was just sitting around on Saturday night. I was like, I missed you guys. I don't really want to do my show, but I didn't. I relaxed. I did a little bit of Google Hangout. That's what I did last weekend on Saturday night. Alright, goodbye, Concept Zero. I didn't go see 47 Ronin. We still haven't gone to see it. Joe just hasn't, we haven't decided, you know, we're gonna go tonight. It just never happened. So, we are gonna be giving away the, the, the charm on that side of the screen, which is for you guys. It's the love charm. It's the love charm. It's the red rose and heart and love charm. It's beautiful because my friend Purple Printer, she already won the T-Rex, so we're giving away the beautiful rose and love charm from Kumo Charms. Please do me a favor and go like their Facebook. They're wonderful. And I'm going to, I'm sorry, again, let the brown one drop. I'm going to highlight all of you people. I love you guys. I miss you last week. I'm gonna miss you all week. I've been coming and hanging out at shows more though. You didn't see the PKDD N07. We are about to choose the winner. Take, take, take! Congratulations, take, 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 take. It's not even my birthday. world, I've got to show. Would you like the charm? Would you like the love charm? Come into my bed, I've got to know. I would be, I would understand if you would not, if, if it's not your style. Okay, yes, and you know, for some reason, I just, I, I apologize, I assign you guys genders in my head. For some reason, I have, I'm sort of assigned cake, cake, cake as, as a male. And 
take take with my you know. So I'm sorry. I just I just do it in my head. It's like I wish that oh yay, I'm glad. All you have to do is email me your name and mailing address. Congratulations. I love Kumo Charms. They're wonderful. Alright, babe, good night. Yeah, no, I just and it, it doesn't have anything to do with it's mostly the names. I don't know. It's I I'm just Well, see, and that's the thing. I try to do that, but like it's over you derp. Oh, oh, how to lose a guy in ten days. I was like, you're talking about my show? Cake or death. Exactly. Hey Tinker. And yay, please go ahead and visit again Facebook. Go like Kumo Charms. And did I give you my email address? Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what that's I believe you, Derp. I believe you. Um, and actually if you would like a prana charm or a Kumo charm, you can visit baitgoddess.net or um, a Hello Kitty charm and you can actually just go ahead and order the prana charms from there. They're beautiful, they're little I love my prana charm. And they also have Hello Kitty charms which make me happy as well. So, or you can contact them through Facebook and be like, hey, I really want to buy a charm from you. What's going on? How do I do this? Boo boo, you must post a picture of your Hello Kitty charm in the Facebook. I would really like to see it because they haven't put pictures on the website yet. My heart's broken. And again, it's that time. It's time for me to go and yes, see, and they're here. If you are a fan of Kuma charms and you would like a wonderful charm. I, I say custom, but you can actually go look at their Facebook page and see what um, what different charms they have. You can contact them on Facebook and tell them what you want. And they're really, really nice and they will work with you. Yes, Smiths and Kumo are here. So the person who is logged in as Kumo is the woman who actually makes the charms. So if you have received a beautiful charm, she's the one who can craft it. Sorry, a little nerdy now. Give me all your lucky charms, yes. Anyway, it's that time. It's time for me to escape and go figure out how drunk the man in the living room is. Um, I love you guys. I missed you last week. I look forward to seeing you next week. I there is no nowhere else I'd rather spend my Saturday night. So. I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Have a really good night. If you need anything, you can find me on Facebook. The fastest way to get to me is here. Or you can just stalk me. You know, I'm I'm out there. I'm I'm public. I have no secrets. Aww. I love you guys. I will see you again next week. I hope my music didn't irritate you too much. It is it is a blast from the past for me, so have a good night. Say thank you to all the wonderful sponsors who have provided giveaways tonight. Thank you guys for coming out. I'm I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna escape. Let me let me close all this stuff.